and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Hello if you are new and thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today's video is a Costco shop. I wasn't planning on going today but my mother-in-law was free and we'd ran out of a couple of things and I thought why not just do it today. I was only going to go on Tuesday anyway. Today is Wednesday. So I was going to go next Tuesday and I thought okay I'll just stock up and then we've got things for the weekend anyway. So it costs £318. Some of the items are going to last longer than just this month, as they always do when you buy in bulk from Costco, uh, but it saves money in the long run. And at the moment, my main priority is the best value for the best price. It's costing a lot of money for everything for everybody. I'm very, very lucky that I am able to go and do this big shop. So then throughout the month, my shopping will be smaller. I know not everybody can do that, but very lucky and to go through the day when it's quiet because my um, husband works full time and I'm lucky enough to be able to stay at home and look after the children who are only four and five. But I do realise that is a privilege. <laughs> we don't have foreign holidays or anything or anything fancy like that. We go camping um, for our holidays and things. So we save money in those areas and we don't have a childcare cost to pay out. So we are able to do it. Anyway, so we are saving money where we can for the best quality product that we can get and we're trying to make our money stretch as far as we possibly can go. Didn't need many much cleaning products this week, didn't need any toiletries, I don't think I need any at all. Um, so it's mostly just some food items and a couple of bits and bobs and maybe a couple of treats. There's always a treat, you've got to treat yourself to something. We don't go out to eat very often, we don't go and do big expensive trips or anything like that. So. Not often anyway. Um, so we are um, uh, have a couple of treats for in the house instead. I'll stop talking now and I'll show you what we bought. £318, that's what I spent. I have a budget of between five and £600 a month and that is for all of our food, all of our toiletries, all of our cleaning products. And sometimes that um, has to stretch further for other things that the children might need as well. So we have... Diet Coke. This was on offer. It's mad in Costco. They've got a tray of 24, which was £10.56. And then they had this box of 30, which was £9.37 or something like that. I don't, can't get my head around it. But anyway, there we go. Possibly the other one was for trade reselling. And some of these bottles of Rubicon, really tasty. And I think it's um, 15 calories. It's not full of sugar, which the, the gen regular Rubicon is and we really really like them the whole family likes them it's just like flavoured water really I know it's not the best it's not as good as having water but it keeps us hydrated and some coffee it's already been opened I don't know I think you see my coffee cup peeking around there about your house but if I come in from the shops I get raided the children and my husband are like what have you got what have you bought there's always something that they want straight away so the coffee's been opened bought this Colombian one it was only 7 99 we do like a coffee from a local supplier that we normally get, but this is a third of the price. So, and it's nice as well. So we are, again, trying to save money in places where we can. Six of these Azira's. Um, we do use the instant coffee as well when we don't have time to grind the beans and percolate it. And these these six were 15 pounds. And I think it works out as like, what's it? Two pound 50 each um, all together. Is that right? Or £2.60, which is cheaper than um, B&M's anyway. An aerial liquid and have been buying Fairy non-bio, but this was on special offer and it was only 10 pence a wash. So that worked out cheaper. And the Fairy was 11 pence a wash. I know it's only a penny in it, but when you're doing 130, 140 washes, it does make a difference. Washing machine cleaner. I was putting some washing in this morning and realised it didn't smell great in there, which I was horrified at. So I was going to go and buy some anyway, and they just happened to have it. I think this was £4.50 for three. So they had that in Costco, so I just picked that up while I was there. Some free-range eggs. Are we going to do some baking? And we have Yorkshire puddings on a Sunday. And the children and Steve like eggs in their sandwiches as well, if we have breakfast sandwiches at the weekend. And Nutella Be Ready Bars, little girl loves them. I have to hide them so she doesn't try and eat them all. I picked up a packet of those. And um, multi-pack Doritos, they're big bags in there, five big bags. We've got salsa in the fridge and in the uh, cupboards. So it just it'll just keep um, with the uh, being sealed, obviously, and not just one huge bag like I did last time. Some uh, essentials, hobnobs and digestives. I think they're only about four pounds something for 
all of, they might be even cheaper than that for all of them but I just hide them away at the back of the cupboard and bring one packet at a time and pop them in the bin the biscuit barrel sorry um a fun size we've got a big like a sweet tub that we keep out of reach <laughs> as you know I'm saying this over and over again but Elsie's children would just take them and help themselves um but yes we keep that out of reach and they're nice little tiny ones as well for them when they want something a little treat if they've been good or something a little sweet we've got some pink lady apples some of these mixed medley and um, tomatoes they're really tasty and I'll probably use some of them on salads and then use them do it in like a bake with um garlic sage balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil really really tasty salt and pepper and then some big baking potatoes they do say they're baking potatoes but they are just like Maris Piper potatoes I think are they Maris Pipers it doesn't say but um, it's just the size of them that makes some baking potatoes. But these are really, really nice. And I use them for chips. I'll use them for roasties. I'll use them for jacket potatoes. So I think we're going to have jacket potatoes tonight. We're supposed to have bolognese. But now I've seen those, I want jacket potatoes. <laughs> um, some new potatoes. I'm going to use those on Sunday to quickly chuck them in a tray and roast them. Roast that well, salad potatoes rather than um, having to um, peel and parboil and roast these potatoes and I use less oil if I'm doing those ones because you just drizzle a little um, rapeseed or olive oil on them and roast them in the oven. Some Albert Bartlett's. I have got a lot of potatoes but they stay in a cold dark cupboard so they last quite a long time. And somebody, I do apologise, I can't remember who it was. Oh, was it Camille? It might be Camille. Gave me a tip if I've got if I've got it wrong who it is. I'm so sorry. Um, it's to put an apple in with your potatoes and it stops them from sprouting. I haven't tried it yet, but I might try it. But I don't want to waste an apple. <laughs> Maybe if I've got an old one sitting there, I'll pop it in. But, yep, some red potatoes. These make the best mashed potato. They are so creamy and delicious. And they do actually make good um, jacket potatoes as well. Um, some red onions and some brown onions. Great big bags and they will last me nearly all month. Possibly... Um, our month starts in the middle my husband gets paid in the middle of the month so our, our, our month starts in the middle so possibly towards the middle of March I might have to buy a couple of onions I might not how long did my last lot last me my last lot might have lasted me about six weeks you know so um but I got some brown onions but then I wanted some cheese savory with red onions so so I've got those as well and we'll make soup and you put an onion in nearly everything, don't you, anyway? Um, some carrots. We go through quite a lot of carrots at the moment because my children like them peeled and sliced for dips and just to snack on. And some blueberries. Eris has been asking for blueberry muffins, so that's what we're going to bake at the weekend. Some peppers. These are two ninety nine for six great big peppers. And they're really nice quality and they really fresh, so that's good. Great big bag of the salad. The last time I bought this salad bag, it lasted me nearly 10 days and it was still good to eat. No word of a lie. It was in the very bottom of the fridge in the cold crisp of it at the back with um, just seal rolled up and sealed up. And it was really, really good. So it was definitely worth it. Some bananas, some grapes. These are really nice grapes. Big box. And the children, again, have those like on a little plate with some carrots and hummus and snacks. Some tender stem broccoli really good just to go on the side of your, your meal isn't it to give you some some of those that green veg and we'll probably use those on Sunday and then we have some flour I am using so much flour at the moment because I've been keeping my starter alive I haven't got it in the fridge at the moment I'm using it I've been making um bread buns and bread and crumpets and muffins and all sorts so I got six big bags um and I hopefully it's really nice quality um, flour so because I just feed the starter plain flour and with a lot of the things you can just use plain flour you don't have to use bread flour so that's good and I'll use it for baking as well obviously and just pop a little um baking soda in it or baking powder to to make it rise cathedral city cheddar the big ones 550 gram ones I've just got two because over here I've got a grated one as well just I like the texture of the pre-grated one because it's like coated in something, isn't it, to keep it uh, nice and separate. It might just be a bit of flour or something um, for the cheese savoury. And I can freeze it as well. So I'll use what I need to use. 
If it looks like I'm not going to use it, I'll quickly freeze it just after it's been like open a day. I'll put it into some separate bags. Um, some Parmesan, I bought this last time, used it all up. Really, really liked it and it was really good value compared to how much um, the grated Parmesan would be in um, the supermarket. And again, I'm just, I know I'm being totally lazy and I should just buy it in a block, but sometimes there are the odd thing that I will relent on and buy it for ease and, and quickness, but not many, there aren't many. So, <laughs> so I, I let myself off. What's the phrase I've heard American YouTubers say, I give myself some grace. That was the phrase I heard somebody say, and, and it's, it's true. Um, some butter. Uh, just for baking and different things and jacket potatoes this will be really nice on the jacket potatoes this hummus this red pepper hummus my little boy would have sat and made his way through the tub if I let him um between the two of them we only had a little bit they ate the whole thing last time so some good protein there from the chickpeas um mozzarella we're going to make pizzas uh, at some point maybe at the weekend Maybe Friday night, I might make pizzas for the children. They like to do that. And if they do it, if I find if they get involved, they eat the food well. And some yogurt. This is really good. So two pounds something for this great big tub. Sugar. That is the biggest bag of sugar I've ever seen in my life. Obviously, I've seen the sacks, but not just the one you can buy like this. We don't use a lot of sugar at all, but I have been baking. So I do need sugar for baking with the children. And it doesn't. As far as I know, sugar doesn't go off. It just can't get damp or wet or any moisture in it. Um, so if I put it, if I take some out and put it in a sealed container and seal it all up, hopefully it will last a very, very, very long time. I mean, we normally, the small bags you get, that will last us a couple of months. So, if not more. So that's going to... This, this, five years time I might be showing you inside my cupboard and that bag might still be there <laughs> you never know um some of this Passata Rustica I love it it is a little bit more expensive than well it, it's maybe a, a pound 30 for the big jar but that's I can make a big batch of something with that one and then freeze the rest and keep it but I really like this one and it has a little bit has you can see there I think it can you see like it has the little little tomato seeds and things still in it and it's just gives a really nice texture to your food um two lots of sausages um I picked these ones up because I thought the children will like these we're going to use these on Sunday with our Sunday dinner just a really easy one have sausages with it and I'm going to make some uh little red lentil croquettes I think for myself um and then, but these ones have got chilli and um, different spices in. So I thought Steve would really like these. And I can separate them up, bag them and freeze them. I did that last time. I bought sausages and they lasted for a while and they worked really well. Some Cadbury's Heroes uh, chocolate desserts for the children. Some Elmley double cream. I do buy cream for in soups and different dishes. And the date on this is June. So... I just thought I'll buy these in and then I can keep them in the fridge. I've got quite a big fridge and they will last us for if suddenly I need a double. Sometimes I find, oh no, I've got no cream. And I use milk instead and it's fine. But it's nice just to have it there. And over here, two, two great big bottles of lemon juice. I don't use this much lemon juice regularly. Well, I do use quite a lot. Pancake day is coming. I said to my husband, I bought some lemon juice for pancakes. He's like, Harry, how many people are coming for pancakes? It's just one. Our eldest son's coming around for pancakes, but apart from that, I'll just be honest. Um, but I use it in food. I use it in as a binding agent when I make um, burgers and, and different things. And with the lentil um, croquettes, I'll probably use it. And I use it in curry and in dal and different things. So it will come in very, very useful. And it has, I think it lasts until 2023 or something like that. Which actually, actually that's only next year. Oh, <gasps> well, I'll be fine. We'll just have to have lemon drizzle cake made with that. <laughs> um, some double strength, strength Robinson squash. I have got a bottle of uh, orange left in the, um, well, on the shelf where I keep the squash, but that won't last us all month. So I just got the uh, apple and black currant for a change. Four just roll puff pastries. These worked out at less than a pound each, mm, about 80p or something like that. So that's 
so much cheaper than the shop and I will just freeze them and I wanted to make some little like puff pastry pasty things and then the other ones I'll just pop in the freezer they're really handy it's like a pie topping if you want a pie topping um some tortilla these look at the look I told you I get raided when I come in Mississippi mud pies I did have a little taste of the one Eris was eating delicious oh and another one there you go Steve's had one as well <laughs> just a treat um and they're really really good I've never seen them in Costco before they're really nice some tortilla wraps how many there's four packets there I'll keep one out I think we're going to have enchiladas uh, made with leftover chili um one day through next week so I'll keep one out and freeze the other three um some what are these called stealth fries french fries um two and a half kilograms 3.99 i thought it's a really good price really big bag or it might have been 2.99 and um, just pop them in the freezer when um, we've come in late on a weekend we've been somewhere or we just need something for quickness they'll do i don't like i said there are not many things that i do for quickness but i don't mind those that just pop them in the air fryer some cod um for fish and chips for steve and the children um, my little girl isn't keen on meat. She doesn't really eat meat. She turns her nose about it, but she does like fish. So that will be good for her and all the omega um, goodness and that she gets from it. And then we've got the treats. Box of Belgian chocolates. If I can just turn this round. Oh, can you see? Don't they look nice? Valentine's Day is coming. We don't really do Valentine's Day, so... I just got us a box of chocolates to share and with the children, probably. Easter's coming. They only had Kinder Eggs, giant Kinder Eggs and Cadbury's Fruit and Nut Easter Eggs. That's all they had. So hopefully when I go back in about a month, they might have some more Easter stuff. So and we do fill up our car as well with fuel when I'm there. And the diesel was £1.43, which I thought was quite good. So we managed to fill our tank for um, about £80. There was only a little bit left in it. So that was good. Uh, cream eggs yeah um i'm i'm really really want one but i'm going to put them away and keep them freestyle i'm going to put them upstairs so we're not tempted some european cookies there's always something that just looks nice so i bought these they look really nice like a nice a nice biscuit with your cup of tea or your cup of coffee i thought that would be quite nice and then a couple of bottles of something we've done dry january so we're allowed um some roku gin really 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 good gin and you can normally find this on offer in asda or sainsbury's or tesco's or wherever and it comes on quite often it is so good so good i've bought it as gifts for people and they're like oh my god that gin is amazing and this gin comes from this distillery i think it's from the same distillery yes it is and this if you know someone who likes smooth whiskey this is amazing and it was only about £26 in Costco. Really, really good. So there we go. There is our £318 shop. My little boy has just come back in from school with Daddy and Eris. So I'm going to go see how his day has been. There is my shopping. I'm now going to try and find space to put everything away. And like I said, lots of this stuff will last me quite a while. And I've just stocked up ready for the month to go to month ahead and then we'll just do little shops through the weeks there we go thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.